We are going to play tonight with a card that I'm going to miss horribly. <laughs> so much. There are a lot of cards that I'm going to miss when they rotate. I just talked about a bunch of cards I'm not going to miss when they rotate. but There, there are a ton of cards I will. Uh, and that never got their due. And that I love them so much. And we tried multiple times here on the stream to make them work. And they just crap out or whatever. <laughs> but tonight I'm going to give probably my favorite card in that whole jank build around category and there's a lot of those cards there's a lot of those cards we could give one last nod to pour one out for before the season's over there's a lot of those cards but the one that i maybe feel the most obligation to in my heart is haunting voyage i think we've done haunting voyage zombies i think we've done haunting voyage with um that was a really dumb one. We've done Haunting Voyage with Maskwood Nexus. Right. And we got the giant out of our graveyard that does damage to a target equal to the number of giants you control and every creature is a giant. And, you know, um, We tried to make that work. That was a little too ambitious, I think. <laughs> right. So, um, tonight, we're going to get pretty ambitious too. But I did want to give this card one final send-off because I love it so much. I have so much love in all of my body parts <laughs> for this for this dude right here six mana choose a creature type return up to two creature cards of that type from your graveyard to the battlefield but if you foretold it if you foretold it you just, you just get all of them back now the strength of this deck here is that you don't really have to foretell this for it to be good you just pay six mana for it normal upfront cost and get two ridiculous things you get 14 mana value for six mana pretty easily in this deck. Uh, even if you don't get 14 mana value, you get 12 <laughs> most of the time, and that's good. Even if you don't get that, you get 10. <laughs> that's just getting two mind flayers out of your yard, right? But we've got this whole group of horrors. Horrors, YouTube. Just so you know, we got a whole group. I'm going to have to be very careful tonight. Of horrors um, that we're trying to get back out of our yard with Haunting Voyage. We've got four whole breaker horrors in this deck. Horrors. Four. <laughs> Four dust, three dust manglers, three toxril the corrosive. This is going to rotate soon too. Or no, it's not. No, it's not. I keep thinking this is an AFR. It's not. It will not rotate. Um, and also mind flare, which won't rotate. Just a couple of copies of this. I've always wanted this card to be good. It's always let me down. But it's it is to a horror, and it is almost creature removal, but not really. <laughs> Altogether, that's twelve different. Creatures with this creature type. Again, I'm trend walking on eggshells here. <laughs> the, the algorithm, because they don't know what I'm saying. They think I'm saying a thing. I'm not saying that thing. Um, so anyway, that's all That's all of our horrors. Now, you may have noticed there's 12 guys that cost five or more mana, and then there's four six drops. That could cost seven. I mean, if you really want to look at it this way, that's four, eight, nine, seven, seven, 14, seven drops. You can't. It's not, it's not tenable in a magic deck. Um, so we gotta we gotta drop these things into our yard. There's really no, there's other ways. You know, maybe our opponent lets us get to the point of the game. We just cast these spells. It happens, but you know, we gotta drop stuff in our yard so that we can reanimate with Haunting Voyage. We can't just play these things naturally most of the time. So we got two thirst for knowledge. Not bad. You know, draw three. We can get like good combo pieces. Pretty deep dig, and then discard two big boys. Kaito Shizuki, solid. You know, four of. Why not? Drop stuff in our yard. Makes dudes to block. You know, whatever. Um, Tainted Indulgence, probably the best thing to drop stuff in your yard. It's two mana draw two. A lot of the time, late in the game, just two mana draw two. It's really, really unbelievably good, especially at instant speed. But we've also got some removal. Not enough. we got some removal, two Blood Chiefs, there's one Infernal Grasp, and four Meadook Massacre. And then finally, probably the maybe the coolest card in the whole deck. we got three copies of uh, Runo Stromkirk. Wouldn't blame me if you didn't know what this was, if you just had no idea. My giant egghead is covering up the power toughness on the flipped version. It's a 3-5, in case you wanted to know. But yeah, 3 mana 1-4 flyer when you ETBs, you can put a thing from your graveyard on the top of your library, a dude specifically. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may reveal that card. If it's a big boy with mana value 6 or greater, you can transform Sturmkirk, Stromkirk into Krothus, Lord of the Deep. <laughs> I've been talking about Stromkirks for a long time. My life, I have said the word Stromkirk a million times, and I always say Stormkirk or Strumkirk. <laughs> I always get it wrong. 
But uh, Krothus is a 3-5 flyer. He's legendary. And whenever he attacks, create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of another target attacking creature. That's good enough. <laughs> it's, it's fine, right? But if that creature is a Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or Serpent, you make two of those tokens instead. So you could make this deck Sultai and get two um, Comas, but that's dumb. Don't do it. It's legendary. So no. <laughs> deck really just needs to be blue-black. Uh, you can double up Holebreaker Horrors. Like if, if you just copied Holebreaker Horror on attacks one time, that'd be good enough. But you you get you get how many? <laughs> how many? Create two of them. So you get double. <laughs> you get three Holebreaker Horrors on the table if you happen to swing with a Holebreaker Horror and a Stromkirk on the table at the same time, or a Krothus, I guess. It's pretty good. <laughs> you can't do that with any other creature in the deck, but notice that you can copy a creature. It doesn't matter if it's a uh, Crack or Leviathan, whatever. You still get to copy a creature. When um when Krothus swings, so you can copy a Mind Flayer and steal one of their guys. Copy a Dusk Mangler. They have to take four sack of dude, discard a card. That's it's all good, man. <laughs> it's all good stuff. So we're hoping that even though we don't have a whole lot of removal in this deck, it'd be nice if we had a little bit more. You know, we don't have all the removal in the world. We're hoping that on turn six. <laughs> We got to get there. <laughs> We're hoping that we can just land Haunting Voyage and put, you know, 14 mana value on the table all at one time and just blow people out. So, you know, sometimes we get back um, Dust, Mangler, Tox, Dust Mangler, Tox Reel. They have to sack a dude, take four, discard a card, and then we minus one, minus one their old team. It's just like the outcomes of resolving a Haunted Voyage or Haunting Voyage are really evil <laughs> in this deck. So... <laughs> It's a jank one. It's it's a big old janky pile. But that's what we like to do. That's what we like to do is bring these into the arena and test our metal. And stay in the silver and gold tiers all season long. <laughs> but I refuse to play. Not well, for right now. I refuse to play good decks. <laughs> Maybe when Dominaria United hits, we'll play a couple of good decks to start the streams off. And then we'll start playing garbage again, I'm sure. We go first. That's the good news. The bad news is that we're not doing anything. We're not doing anything. <laughs> but we do have Meat Hook Masker up. So I'm just going to be dumb. I'm going to be super dumb. <laughs> and keep this hand. But that's okay. Meat Hook Masker. Meat Hook Masker. Meat Hook Masker. Meat Hook Masker. <laughs> Can't even talk. Will protect us. Can't promise it, but I'm banking on it. <laughs> Opponents on black, red, snow-covered stuff. So we may have some time here. We very well may. Well, we can drop the Dust Mangler and probably the Mind Flayer with the Thirst here. Yep, our turn. Opponents not doing anything yet. That means they have a handful of removal. We just drew three lands. We actually just drew three lands. That's real silly. Sure. I'll just pitch the Mangler in a land here. Keep the Mind Flayer. We don't know. We draw a hole breaker. So we don't know exactly what's coming here. So let's just throw down Dismal Backwater and Sega. Opponent will have four mana this turn. I wonder if it's like Soren, you know? No, oh, it's Kalane. Okay. Okay. I'm a big fan of the treasure deck. We all know that. We draw another Massacre. That could really help. I could always Mind Flayer this Kalane this turn. There are reasons to do that. I know it doesn't look like it, but there are. Here's the two uh, thought processes here. So we can Mind Flayer the Kalane. They play their Goldspan next turn and they don't get, you know, extra PT on it. That's cool. Um... Or we can just hold up the Atara and bounce the Goldspan. But we might want to take a shot from the Goldspan and just steal it with the Mind Flayer. But I think that's actually the worst idea. If we bounce the um, if we bounce the Goldspan. We haven't really done much. We have time walked them, but is that enough? You know. Well, they deadly dispute the Kalane away, so I guess it's good we didn't try for the Flayer. That would have just been a five mana vanilla three three. It's not what we want. There's the gold span. Well, if I go ahead and I return it to their hand. I'm going to do this before it attacks. I don't want them getting all the treasure. 
If I do that, it kind of buys us a turn. I mean, we can take a shot in the mouth this turn. But now we have enough to um, meat hook the gold span away. So good deal, I would say. We have two. We have both mind flayers in our deck in our hand. One more mana, we can cast the hole breaker. So that's pretty cool. You might think I'd want to just mind flayer the gold span away, but again, I think it's like the worst play here. Five cards in hand, they have removal. So we go to 17. They play a ghast. And I am just a ghast. Alright, well let's meet hook. Sure. I'll hook for five, because why not? I mean, I guess the why not is I could be bluffing like Fading Hope, but... Mm. That is held up. I wonder why. They have a dispute, probably. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Sack their gold span. Get a treasure. I'm willing to bet there's another gold span dragon we have to fight through here, but we can. I'm fairly certain, so... What I'd really like is if they just drop two gold spans here, like a boss. That'd be cute. Drop laying two gold spans. Just hook them up. Ooh, a Vol oh, a Volamicus. <laughs> That's not as cool. Huh. You even play white mana in your deck at all? That's neat. They get a Valakut Awakening. Fix their hand. They put two cards back, it looks like. I think they had five. No, three. Oh, no, yeah, they put two cards back. They draw a plus one with an Awakening. So they drop land. Four cards left. So we have to hook that Velomicus away. We could steal it. <laughs> we could just steal it and attack with it. And then maybe kill it with like an Infernal Grasp off the top of our own library. That's the content play, isn't it? But I'm pretty sure that we steal it, we try to attack with it, it gets removed. Very likely. Smart play here is just to hook it away. But I do, I'm very tempted by content plays. <laughs> Balamicus Lorehold. That's interesting. I guess they know they're gonna they're gonna get treasures, you know. <laughs> Go to fourteen. See if they have another dragon in their hand, because that would be bad news, and they probably do, right? You see one Velomicus, one gold span. Akaya the Inexorable. Hmm. And a Zorn. Go swarm counter. Put a ghost form counter on the zone. We get a Toxril the Corrosive, huh? I believe we should say go. Let's do that. Risky. <laughs> I think it's the best to just try to resolve Holebreaker EOT. Probably dies. It probably just gets shot down, but I, I do think it's our best chance. We don't want to try to resolve it when the Zorn comes in. Then they get to just remove it with Kaya. I'm trying to kill the Kaya with the hole breaker. But I really think the chances of that are happening are fairly slim. They must have removal sitting in their hand. I'd say there's still um a chance. Though. Like they remove our hole breaker, they still have to remove Toxreal to Mind Flayers, and it's getting harder and harder to do that. What I fear is that we grab something with Mind Flare that has like four toughness, right? And they just meat hook away the Mind Flare and get back whatever we stole with it. Red Black is actually a kind of a bad matchup. <laughs> it's like every card they have, I'm like, ooh, they have that card. Interesting. This is obviously Mardu, but like I haven't seen a white source outside of a treasure token yet. That's really cool. In its way, you know. Oh, our opponent might actually be disconnected here. Unless it is a, just a big thing. It could be. Four cards. Probably got all matter of action on the board. They use a timeout, right? I mean, it's not official. There it is. Huh. What else you got for me, Immortal 323? Anything at all? Yeah, they're here. Okay, cool. They're they're back. Shambling ghast. What was the what okay. So they play a professional face breaker and a shambling ghast. They put a ghost for, Ooh, they put a ghost form counter. 
Interesting. Do you, like, have Menace or anything? Okay, so they've already used their Kaya this turn. So it might be time to just jump the Zorm of the Hole Breaker Horror, right? They have Infernal Grasp. If I if I had to guess here, they probably have it. Seemed like they clicked through there, but they wouldn't have let the block happen, right? If they don't have removal, that's awesome. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Maybe they just wanted their Zorn to die because it had a <clears throat> Ghost Form counter on it. Spin mana or playing the Zorn again, though. They have three mana left. Interesting. We draw Shipwreck Marsh. We have eight mana. So we can Mind Flayer Kaito, or we can just Toxro. Toxro looks pretty good. Let's see if our opponent takes a quad block here. I doubt it. I wonder if I should have played Kaito first. I guess not if I plan to play Toxeril. So if I play Kaito first, I can draw a discard, maybe try to get something. Something? I don't know. They take double blocks right here. They make a treasure token with the ghast. They also block with one of their 1-1 spirits. So just resolve Toxril. That's all there is to it. I'm still, I'm still thinking of Mind Flayer Kaito. But I think Toxril's right. I do. The emblem is 7. So we probably just want to bounce the Kaya. It does let them take care of the Hole Breaker. Or the Toxril. But they could do that regardless. So bouncing the Kaya is correct. I really don't want them to emblems and they just get Volomicus like every turn we don't want that <laughs> certainly not this is an interesting little deck we're playing against the uh, good first game get the juices flowing I haven't really played magic in like two days I've been playing bone razor minions trying to be number one here comes blood on the snow and a Volomicus lore hold probably or no they can't ever get it back that's right that's not good synergy <laughs> so they say we get a couple of slugs, meat hook triggers, they get a 1-1 from a ghost form counter, and they get a gold span dragon back. So, altogether pretty good. Kaya comes down. That's interesting. Ghost form counter on the gold span. That makes sense. We go to 15. You know, replay professional face breaker now. Could have got an extra treasure token if you did that first. No, uh, big score. Okay. Deck really likes treasure. I guess that's how it can get away with not playing like any white sources. Ooh, a haunting voyage. Hmm, <laughs> a haunting voyage, huh? Well, let's just resolve that. Let's just resolve haunting voyage. And name horror. Oh, we can get a Dust Mangler, but they just sacrifice the 1-1. One, one. Plus, they have a counter on the Goldspan Dragon. Eh, Toxeril Holebreaker. That's correct. Sack a creature to draw a card. That's cute. Opponent's still in a not bad position here. All right, we come in at the Kaya with our two slugs. They block one. Kaya goes down to five. Opponent goes to 17. We go to 16 off of meat hooks. And we put a minus one, minus one counter on the spanner. What will they Kaya away if that's what they choose to do? Really wish we could exile stuff, but we can steal stuff. Only deadly dispute. Okay. Looking for more blood on the snow or something. That would probably really help right now. <laughs> they can still Kaya something away. So, yeah, they exile the Toxreel. Let's sack a slug while that's on the stack. Opponent goes to 16. 16 up! <laughs> We're in it. 
Just gotta draw more haunting voyages, maybe. Oh, there's oh, there is one. Nice. They exile the uh, the Toxriel though. Burning Rune Demon comes down. Okay, it's all good. That's a, that's a neat include. <laughs> The, the, the arena matchmakers also put us up against someone else that's playing um, a bunch of like five sixes, <laughs> you know, a bunch of really expensive cards. <laughs> that's so cute. One, two. Three. Well, I guess put the Lisa into your hand. I get what you're doing. My creatures will never die. <laughs> and no, they won't. But again, maybe stealing them, maybe stealing them will help a good bit here. Bang, we got a 12 from the gold span. Blood Chief's Thirst, huh? If we had one more mana. God, if we had one more mana. We can get a Dust Mangler. That's good. Dust Mangler is good. They'll just sack the gold span, though. Why doesn't Mind Flayer give the creature haste? Why can't you do that, Mind Flayer? Well, if we're going to play Mind Flayer anyway, let's play Kaito first, because it's the only thing we can play outside of Mind Flayer. Return! What? I, do I kind of want to steal the Lisa, you know what I mean? Return a treasure to your hand. It's not worth it to return the Kaya. Let's draw the discard. Just said if only we had nine mana. Plus the Takanuma could be good, but I don't want to drop any of these other cards. I really don't. So. It's Mind Flayer. Return the other treasure to their hands. <laughs> Probably. Everything else is too good to bounce. This deck is really good against bounce, if you can't tell. I guess I could have killed the Kaya. If only, like, you know, I bounce creature, creature. You know, bounce creature, um... Bounce creature, steel creature, get in. Could be a thing. Get back Velomicus Lorehold. That's really cute. Let's take their Lisa. Let's come in at the Kaya. They let it go. Because we probably die this turn. Yeah, we just die this turn. Good game. They have a lot of haste flyers <laughs> between Velomicus. Oh, they blood on the snow? Really? They wanted to prolong the game, but they had they had us dead on board there. Um, a six six flyer, a four four flyer, and a five five flyer is that adds up to more than twelve. So they're just kind of playing with their food at this point. But good game one way or the other, and a cool deck to play against for the first one. Why not sack Toxreel to itself? I don't know. Five head moment. I assume the card says sack another, but if it just says sack a slug or sack whatever, sack a creature, draw a card. We go first. Runo. Didn't see a single one all last game. So let's start on Hall of Storm Giants. Opponent starts on tap Xander's Lounge. Playing good cards over there. Loser. Do I want to foretell this? Sure. Let's foretell the Haunting Voyage. Let's try that this game. But if we get to six mana and not seven, I'm mean, <laughs> very upset. Let's Runo. What, what are you doing, game? Let's, let's Runo. They went Xander's Lounge into Spara's Headquarters. It's a five-color deck. So again, it looks like Arena's going to have matched us up with someone playing a bunch of five and six drops. Thanks, Arena. Okay. Celestis. They're just getting warmed up here. It's declined to reveal the swamp we would draw. Play that bad boy and get in for one damage. We need to draw all the lands or at least something to pitch cards. We didn't see a um, Taden Indulgence all last game either. It'd be great to draw one of those. We're playing four of them, <laughs> you know. Halfway through our deck, didn't see a Taden Indulgence. It's strange. Binding away the Runo. Yeah, here we go. We're dead. <laughs> There's a land. Could be worse. Still don't do anything. We gotta do something one of these turns. Kaito, Thirst for Knowledge, Tainted uh, Indulgence. These are all good cards to draw. 
Spirit Sisters call. We're screwed. Yep. Totally screwed. There's another land. Drop a Mind Flayer, but it doesn't work if opponent's not playing creatures. We're almost a hole breaker. Let's see how good it is. I'm just... We're done. We are done though for this one, though, guys. Here comes Jenga Taxis. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Sounds cool. Kaito. Did not draw the land required to... Uh, ambush the Jenga taxes so there's that but they have removal they will I mean come on come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's a guarantee hopefully this just bought us a turn right that's all we're really doing buying a turn to try to draw the land to ambush the uh, Jenga taxes on tax with the hole breaker but they probably have removal for that <laughs> so well they Celeste did, did, did that sounds like they're looking for removal so it would be just fire if they did, if they can't if they can't find a binding. Oh my goodness! They cycle a land. They drop a world tree. Spirit sisters call back. They sack the spirit sisters call to binding away the mind flare. Yep, 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 yep. Celestis again. Jeez, what a good card! What a really good magic card Celestis is. They drop another land in their yard, so you know they got number business. None but business. We again need another land. We have to um, cast Thirst for Knowledge and let it get countered and then cast Blood Chief Thirst, but we can't do that. So, you know. Let's just resolve the Kaito. We know we can. Make Blocker. Might have been better to draw Discard there, but whatever. Is it each turn? Each, whenever you cast an artifact, you copy that spell. Whenever an opponent casts an artifact, copy that spell. Trigger really much. Okay. All right, let's let this one play out, but again, man, <laughs> it's not, <laughs> I'm pretty sure our opponent just has all the best cards in standard in their hand. They copy their courier's briefcase, that means they get to draw six when they, <laughs> eventually, right? They get two one ones, a couple of treasures, basically a free spell, right, when you think about it. Let's take that block, we are so far behind. Bang, land. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana available, two cards in hand. Just don't draw the land. Oh my god, and if this time if we had another land, remember, by the way, remember what I said. If we get to six mana and not seven, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> Look where we are. Um, doesn't matter though, because if we cast the Haunting Voyage, it would get countered. So let's just draw a discard. Land, 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 land. It's a Kai. That's funny. That's really funny. It's another Kaito. That's that's hilarious, dude. That's really funny. You think I would drop a horror into my yard, but I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna play the other Kaito. I'm gonna draw discard again. So we're almost dead, but not quite. <laughs> What a game. What a gamer over there. We still don't draw the land. Let's drop the Tox Rail, I guess. Sego. Jeez. It hurts, man. It hurts my soul. They draw three. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. Sick game here, guys. Titan of freaking industry. Are you serious? Are you sure? Are you for real right now? <laughs> they are totally sure. Jeez. What a beating. There's the land. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the land, Arena. I appreciate Thanks. You're really, you're cool. You're so cool, Arena. Thanks for the land. You're so awesome. Oh man, resolve meat hook. Hopefully, it's, it's no guarantee, is it? <laughs> I have a Jawari in there, and just all the right moves. Titan, man, Titan. Just 
just going to say, for some reason we're hung up on triggers here. I don't know why. Let's draw a discard. Our chance here is resolving the haunting voyage. All we have to do... <laughs> I mean, it's not all we have to do, right? But I think it'll go a long way. Kami War, that's fine. That's. I mean, it's not fine, but it's whatever. <laughs> I guess. We attack with Titan. We go to 11. Oh my god! They play another Kami... Jeebus, Creebus! Holy mackerel. And then Celestis triggers... Standard, man. <laughs> Standard. <laughs> what a ridiculous format this can be sometimes. Oh my god. So stupid. So stupid. Let's 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 haunting voyage for seven. Let's name horrors. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. And they say nice. <laughs> I believe them. <laughs> but, <laughs> too. They get to return the mind flayer and something else. To our hands, so uh, you know. But hey, it's a Titan of Industry still tap. That's a that's a win, you know. No, they're just gonna return the Titan to their hand, of course. That's the that's the ticket. <laughs> Discard hole breaker, sure. We got another haunting voyage in our hand. It's fine. But I want them to do is kill the mind flare and just get it back. <laughs> it's another haunting voyage, and we get the. Holebreaker Horror back too. Now they just massacre for as much as they need to. <laughs> Alright. They go to 26. What a game. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. So. We have an option here. We have choices. Do we Haunting Voyage now or do we Kaito this turn and then try to grab one of these 6-6s six with the Mind Flayer? But we, want, we probably want to grab the Titan they play next turn with the Mind Flayer. I don't know, guys. 7, 14, 21, 26. We get 26 mana value if we play this. If, if we Really, what we should do is Kaito foretell the Haunting Voyage. Yeah. We have to do that. The system can't fix everything, but we can. Let's draw a discard. It's really hoping that that would be a big fat boy. <laughs> it's not. Well, let's drop the land, I guess. Let's foretell the voyage. The voyage. Say, uh, what a game, dude. This one was crazy. And I say, what? Well, I use the past tense here because I'm pretty sure that's where we are here. <laughs> yeah, the problem is both decks is hella, are hella resilient. Yeah. That's a big part of it. Opponent has a million cards in hand. They're about to get two 6-6 six, six flyers. They're going to have a 7-7 seven, seven this turn and maybe something beyond that even. So... <laughs> Oh, they don't do anything. They don't want us to steal their Titan. <laughs> There's a Tainted Indulgence. Hilarious. So funny. Let's draw a discard. It's a Haunting Void. <laughs> Neat. Tainted, tainted Indulgence is just a draw, too, you know? That's, that's pretty good. We'll need this Blood Chief's Thirst. I'm still sure of that. I gotta, I gotta keep the voyage, man. I gotta keep it. That's what we're here to do. It's voyage. Please, 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 no! <laughs> and then they good game us. 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 Oh, wow. Wow, dude. All the right moves that time. Yeah, no fun. No, thanks, MTGO Beast. Yeah, I, I should have said that first. right? No fun allowed. No fun ever allowed in the arena. What are you doing, Dev? You're trying to have fun. Don't do that. You can't have fun. Yeah, you're right. You guys, are, you guys are right. I should have probably seen that one coming. But no. Nope. No fun. Zero fun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play the deck that has literally every rare and mythic in the entire format, right? And then I'm going to good game my opponent prematurely. That's what I'm going to do. After River Tears, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Just... <sighs> like the BM. The BM really got me, dude. The BM was horrible. That was a good game up until then. That was a really good game up until then. They, just, they had to do that. They had to do it. I'm not even worried about the River Tears charm. The, the good game is what's getting me flushed here. 
Well, last time on stream, we started with three Kaitos in our hand. We lost that game because <laughs> I kept that hand. Have I learned anything? No. Not a single thing. <laughs> Great play by opponent. Yeah, I guess. Having the exact right card at the exact right time is a pretty good play. It can be. <laughs> it's like, I've made plays like that before. <laughs> when I had the perfect card. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Opponent on Jund. I wonder if they're playing the... Uh, oh, it was that's the CGB deck I was watching him play when he drew like two lands in 19 cards. He was playing Jund. Let's hope our opponent does that here too because they're probably just playing that deck. <laughs> Let's draw a discard. Which means I wonder if we're going to get... Um, drop a Kaito. I wonder if we're going to get Fabled here. You know, we haven't we haven't gotten fabled in like a a week. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a fight ringing. Good, good. Fun. <laughs> We're just gonna get nothing but murdered tonight. <laughs> We're gonna like it too. Please keep murdering me indiscriminately. We draw a Runo off the kite, so let's drop the Toxreel. Play an island. Play the Runo. Well, do I wanna Transform this next turn? I guess no harm, no foul, right? Like, if I put this on top of my library and draw it next turn, then I can just drop it with the Kaito. It's not it's not a big deal. Do kind of want to transform the Runo. I, I never get... Like, I've played a bunch of this deck now. I never get, like, good um, Krathus swings, you know? Binding, no fun. Zero fun. They Binding the Runo, too. Which would... <laughs> Which card looks more threatening to you? <laughs> but they binding the Runo away because it's fun. It's too much fun. That's... <laughs> I hate... I hate Arena opponents. It's not even that I hate Arena. I hate Arena opponents. It's like, oh, he might have fun doing that. I can't. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's That looks way too fun. I think that the, what it is is that they resent that they can't be the ones having fun, right? Oh, I just have to grind with my, you know... 12 mythic 25 rare deck <laughs> with nothing but rare lands it's like I have to grind all day with this deck that I hate and I have to play like 30 games with the same deck over and over and I hate it so much so you know what you don't get to have fun you don't get to play <laughs> like the cool cards <laughs> that I want to play but can't let's thirst really want lands we we should draw a mind flayer and two hole breakers <laughs> Okay, let's drop, let's drop two breakers in the yard. There's a land. Good. Good news, partner. We need but one more land. We also need but one more um, loyalty counter to get this emblem. It's pretty good. So, let's draw a discard. Haunting Voyage, huh? What if I just Haunting Voyage this turn? You know, like... Sure. Let's drop the other Kaido. We sure have a lot of Kaitos. Um, I get two Holebreaker Horrors if I do that. Or a Dust Mangler, or Toxero. I think it's probably worth... Well, no. What? Let's Haunting Voyage now, right? And then, if our opponent kills our stuff, we can just Haunting Voyage again. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> let's just name Horror. Holebreaker and a Toxero? Or should we just get two Holebreakers? Two Holebreakers is pretty annoying, you know? Sure. Hole breaker, back up hole breaker. 14 mana value for 6 mana. The opponent's going to kill one of them. <laughs> for 2 mana. And go to 18. Yeah, see, this could work out. Because <laughs> they spend mana this turn just killing the other one. We've gotten a bunch of removal out of their hands. This could work. It would also be a little sweet. In, in some ways, it might be kind of sweet. Zayatora's Envoy, huh? If they, um... Valky, okay. Oh, they're gonna get our Mind Flayer, you jerk. That's alright, we just hook it away. Just hook it away. I was gonna say, it might be sweet in some ways if they tighten of industry. Like, if they actually get to fight rigging and um, get a free Titan or something, then we can just steal it. But now we don't have the Mind Flayer. That's the last land we needed, though. But honestly, this might be a, a hooking turn. 
a turn for hooks. But if I hook for five, we only get three for two. You know? <laughs> At this point, they're threatening to uh, kill the hole breaker. No, don't good game. Don't good game. Let's attack. <laughs> See if they take the double block here. They don't. What are you doing? I should have gone ahead and ultimated the Kaito. Why did you say good game? Why did you say that? Why did you say good game? Now I have to hook. Now I have to. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could just hold breaker horror. Like I could um, just take the fight rigging away. Um, I could just haunting voyage here, but I just, I don't know. I, they they have me nervous now. Let's get the mind flare back. I, I'm gonna ultimate this Kaito. We, how often do we get to ultimate a Kaito? A Kaito. Let's let's do it. <laughs> Let's take the, the emblem. I could drop the Mind Flayer and then get it back with the Voyage. Meat Hook for none. None Hook. Meat Hook for none. They're just showing us, like, this is what our hand is, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, opponent. <laughs> well, we, we have gotten to, um... We have gotten to Haunting Voyage in every single game. You know? So that's good. We got a victory that time. Yeah, they GG because they dead. Yeah, you're probably right. We do go first. We've been doing we've been doing a lot of that tonight. It's dismal backwater turn one. Flex, flex by gaining that life. Red source Voldar and Epicure. At least they're not on the play. At least they're not on the play. We drew a third land, so we're already doing better. Than we sometimes do. <laughs> Maybe I just want to dry cast one of these hauntings. Just gonna come in for one. So no bloodthirsty adversary this turn. Wonder if that means uh, it's the the anthem effect. It might not even be. It might be only cold anvil or something. I wouldn't like that. We need a minute to set up and only cold anvil just eat us alive while we're trying to do that. They say go. You don't have a play. All right, stand in indulgence. Drop hole breaker. Marsh. Kaito. There's some sound from the arena client. Draw discard. Kaito feels like the strongest card in the deck by a mile. It's because he is. What is it that he knows? I don't know the Kamigawa story. <laughs> so every time you drop a Kaito, he goes like, I know something you don't know in this cringy sing-song voice. And like, what does he know? <laughs> What's his secret? It's bugging the crap out of me that I don't know that. <laughs> Here comes Voldar and Epicure in for one. We go to 18. Do-do. Ba-boom, boom, boom. Fat little baseline. Oh, Obnixilis. Obnixilis. Big man. Big man, Nixilis. Will we? Normally, I'd want to discard a card. You know they're going to do it twice because they didn't make the guy first. <laughs> Be cool if I get some stuff to discard. Yeah, there we go. All right, so bleh, I think, off of that. And then we just need to get rid of one of these. Sad to say. Get rid of the four loyalty one. There's a two loyalty one left. And opponent goes. We are a little behind, but it could be worse. This could be worse. We got a meat hook up. Each opponent loses two unless they discard. Let's decline and take two. We go to 12, though, so it's not all game we can be doing this. Here comes Oni Cold Anvil. We called that. After we saw the Obnix, I thought, okay, yeah, it probably is Anvil. And it is. So then they throw down Blood Tithe Harvester and an Unlucky Witness. Dude, stop. <laughs> he cut it out. <laughs> Opponent Snyder just like, play a card, play a card, play a card, play a card. All in like one turn. Standard, man. I'm telling you. I've been trying to tell y'all that Standard is a ridiculous format. All right. Let's draw a discard. It's a land. We drop the Tox roll. We needed the land, though. Let's massacre for two. 
Sure. He hit us for one. It's okay. We'll go back up to 13 here. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, we go to 13. They get the two cards off of Witness. It's an Eaten Alive and a Synthesizer. They play Synth first. See what they get off that. Well, yeah, that's right. Unlucky Witness. We can play one of those cards. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Might would have eaten alive the Kaito, but maybe they don't have a creature to play. And they have another Synthesizer. There's an Unlucky Witness. They play that. Two mana left. So they can't, like, Obnix again, right? That would be sick. We can dry Voyage this turn, and it might be enough. It just might. Let's decline to discard and go to 11. And then opponent sacrifices a Synth to the Oni Cold Anvil. We go to 10. They get a 1-1 and another Synthesizer. That's a lot. That's three you can see on the table right now. One in the yard, one on the table, one in exile. You should play that. You should, unless, yeah, they wanted a Harvester. I was going to say, unless you got two mana to use on something. We draw another hook. So now we have an actual decision this turn. Do we hook everything away again? Or do we just Haunting Voyage? If we Voyage, we get back a Toxeril, a Dust Mangler, a Mind Flayer, and a Hole Breaker Horror. Um, well, no, that's just if we... That's just if it's in Foretell. Obviously it's not. Kind of want all these cards. All right, let's Haunting Voyage, and let's get the Toxeril for sure, I think. Do I want the Mind Flayer as well? Toxeril and a Dusk Mangler, right? I mean, no, if we get a Dusk Mangler, they'll just sack something that would die EOT anyway, but that's probably fine. Let's get the Breaker, man. Draw a discard. It's another hook. That's so good, man. I guess we have to get rid of a hook here. It's just kind of the way it is. All right, we wipe away two other guys. They also get triggers off of Unlucky Witness. We get Toxreal triggers and Hook triggers. They got a Only Cold Anvil and a Blood Tithe Harvester off that Witness. Let's see which one they play. Probably the Anvil. Yep. Just enough incremental damage to finish us. That's all they want. All right, they sack Synth to one Anvil. They get two 1-1s. One That's how that card works. They also get a Voltage Surge off the Synth. Good little game here. Well, no matter which way it goes, good little game. I guess we just voyage again next turn, man. That's all there is to it. Got to start getting in some damage here. All right, each opponent do draw, blah, 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 blah. God, if I go to nine. What if I go to nine here? What happens? Nothing. Sure. We go to nine. Now, I can ultimate this Kaito next turn. And it looks like we're going to be able to do it. Ultimate Kaito three times in the same stream? That's nuts. But we can maybe do this, guys. Maybe. There's, it's a big old maybe, but it's... It's a maybe. Opponent ropes. They are doing a lot this turn. <laughs> if you haven't... If you can't tell, they're doing a ton. Still a big decision. Three cards left, plus the Voltage Surge. But they can't really Surge anything. They can Surge the Kaito, and we can't Ultimate. So that might be the best play here, if they want to play the Surge. They do. They play it on the Toxeril. Okay. And then, you don't have Blood Tokens. My guy, you don't have blood tokens. Oh no, opponent with the misplay, and they scoop it. They sh they shame scoop. Oh, opponent, I'm so sorry, man. That was a good game. That was such a good game up until then. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> we have gotten to cast voyage in almost every game. It's it's a couple of those games. It's won us the game. It looks like you know, Poxreal did it this time. Really, the misplay did it, but I would have liked to keep playing that game because we had a chance, but it wasn't guaranteed. And that's a good game, you know? 
It's like, would we have died to only cold anvil triggers? It's like, this turn we were going to hook, kill the Obnixilis, see where we go from there, you know? But, or we could have Haunting Voyaged again. <laughs> Should have been pretty sick. Actually, if we, oh, actually, guys, if we Haunting Voyage this turn, what we get to do is uh, they sack one creature and we steal the other 1-1. One, one. So, I guess they could still sack an artifact in response to that and get two more 1-1s. One, so, it wouldn't work the way I wanted it to. Hook wouldn't either, to be honest. But either way, we would have killed a bunch of creatures with the hook, right? <laughs> so sure. Let's get one to two more. Opponent goes. We start with two haunting voyages in our hands. And two lands, by the way. Let's drop a dismal backwater. Opponent's on black, blue, two. The first person that's dropped the shipwreck marsh all night. It's been like nothing but black red. Another Hive of the Eye Tyrant, though. We can't get away from that stupid card. Oh, my God. We can't taint an indulgence because we didn't draw the land. This is the Devin Yells at Arena hour. <laughs> hey, they're playing the cool snow-covered swamp, though. They are doing that. Kudos to opponent for having taste. Draw land. Let's drop. We now have three Haunting Voyages. We have as many Haunting Voyages as we have lands. <laughs> Just like... Come on, Arena. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> I will not miss this standard. Not even for a second. They somehow have a Soren already. We're fighting to draw lands. Hey, there's one. Let's drop a Mind Flayer, sure. Play the land we just drew. Phase out the Kaito. Oh my goodness. Opponent gets a Hive of the Eye Tyrant off the top of their library with the Soren. Plays it. Hive is so good against us, too. It's like, look how it's going to line up, too. If we do get fifth land, we play fifth land. And then next turn after that, we have to draw the sixth land. Play sixth land, cast Haunting Voyage. But they, that gives them a whole turn to remove something from the graveyard with um, Hive. It's just. Nothing is lining up. At least, hey. Skin of our teeth, but we drew another land. At least we're drawing the lands. Let's play a Runo. Let's get in this one, guys. Let's get in this one. I don't want to put any of them on top, I don't think. Again, just the fact that opponent... They have removal. It's a fading hope. Sure, sure. Yep, yep. Removal check for Matt. Opponent only has one blue mana, but they have that fading hope. Let's foretell one of these because we have so many. You know? <laughs> Maybe this is the game. We'll just play through a million Blood on the Snow. But Hive of the Eye Tyrant, man. Hive is what's going to kill us. We lose hard to that card, so Arena's made sure that we play against it like every single game tonight. Yep, here comes Hive. Yep. Kill the Kaito. Cool border. That's like a Alliance's land border. Not anymore, because it's not a creature. But while it was a creature, that was like the same border as like a Lake of the Dead from Alliance's. Of course it's a tapped land. Of course. Why would it not be tapped? I don't know why I expected anything besides tapped land this turn, but... Here we are. Are there even things to reanimate? <sighs> Stupid game. We're not dead yet, though. My opponent's not killing us. I'll play Kaito. It's either Kaito or Runo here, and I think Kaito is right. Because it gives us a chance to draw another fat man, which we do, and then discard him. Good. Good news. It's 
Still hard to win this game, isn't it? Still going to be tough. Hall of Storm Giants comes out. Okay. Well, at least they don't get to wipe something off the table this turn or wipe something out of our yard. You look at the top card. They... Okay. It's a land. We get a tapped land. Let's try to get an untapped land. We do. Thank God. Okay. I have a big man to drop. I would really like a big man to drop, but, you know... I've really I have I have asked for things this game and I have gotten them. So I cannot yell. I can't yell too much. We can drop a haunting voyage, can't we? Can't we? I feel like a lot rides on what we drop here. I, Hive is probably the worst card. It probably really is. So let's voyage. Let's go. Let's 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 resolve it. We might get swept, but what else? <sighs> I guess we'll grab this guy. I should have submitted zero. I honestly should have submitted zero. They'll just kill the mind flare. They'll sweep the board. Get back their 2 3. Because they would have just had to sack the 2 3. And I think I would have liked that more. I honestly think that would have been better. What now? What now, brown cow? Opponent does not know. <laughs> Completely unaware of what to do next. They, they, they have to have sweep, right? They don't have to. This is not... It doesn't look like a blood on the snow deck, but they do have snow-covered swamps, right? So even if they play this snow-covered swamp, though, they can't get back to Soren on a blood. It's a hook. They hook for six. That kills everything but the horror. They go to 25. We're at 10. Okay, well, um... That's interesting. Let's draw a discard. Some land. Let's kill the Soren. <coughs> I'll just cast another Voyage. Bounce has been so bad all night, hasn't it? Bounce has been so bad, dude. God, has Bounce been terrible. So I guess we'll get both these guys. I guess I'll take control of my own Dusk Mangler. We've resolved, like, two Dust Mangos have hit the table. Opponent's still at 21. That's... It's amazing. <laughs> really, it's kind of crazy. See what's up their sleeve next. I feel like opponent's going to be able to play out of it. I really do. But that, I, I think it's just because, like, I have been <laughs> pretty negative. <laughs> Tonight has trained me to be fairly negative. Sack the Mind Flare. Sack the Kaito. They draw two. Man, Invoke is so good. When it's good, it's really good. I feel like every time we try to play Invoke, opponent has like a million creatures. You know what I mean? But whenever Invoke is played against us, we sure do like our boards that have like like two giant dudes and a Planeswalker. So like Invoke is always really good against us. What all's in here? Sure. What all's exiled? A hole breaker. There's a hole breaker. Just a hole breaker and a mind flare. All game, hole breaker, mind flare. It's just not enough. That's nuts when hole breaker isn't enough, but it isn't. We need more instants in this deck. That's part of the problem. Hit for five. They go to 16. Cast the Runo, we'll have five mana left, which is not enough to cast the Voyage. Screw it. Let's just Voyage again. I mean, if they have literally all of the removal in the world, there's nothing I can do about that. 
<laughs> Opponent plays through... Damn. Disruption, really? Okay, pay for it. D really? They just... Okay. I, I was assuming they'd have disruption into um, make disappear there. Why would you cast the disruption? I guess you don't need it. All right. I will take control of my own mind flare. <laughs> I guess. See if they just have hook again. A tough one to play through so far. Loth. Yep. Loth, loth, loth. That's not the worst thing that could have happened. We can... We can beat a lull from here. Um, four mana left, three cards in their hand. Hook for one. Bounce is bad. <laughs> Bounce is so bad. <laughs> they dispute one of the tokens away. God, we go to seven. How do we gain life? <laughs> so we really need to. We gotta close or gain life. I guess Meat Hook will help with that. And we gain our life right back. Loth gets some loyalty counters. They're at 16, huh? Hey, chicken. Okay, a couple of paths here. Let's tell our opponent that we're doing some thinking. We can just swing into the Loth, probably kill it. They have chicken tail in the way. One. Okay, so they can't. Okay, they can cast like Infernal Grasp, and that's about it. They also can march here. Sorry, chicken. They can march here. I think I just Blood Chief's Thirst away the Loth. Let's do that. Hole breaker. Hey, you can return the treasure to their hand. Finally. <laughs> Bounce does something. <laughs> I'm sure they'll pop said treasure. Yep. Now we go in for attacks. Bing. Bong. We can't attack with two guys. We just can we even attack with one? You know what I mean? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two. They have six. They activate and swing with the hall. They have two mana left. So that's Infernal Grasp. Let's just do this. Let's put them at 10. Say go. Was that right? We had options that, that turn. We could have just killed the uh, Loth with a hole breaker, but I think we like this more. Oh my god, an Imrith? Really? Huh. Did not see that coming. Here comes Shambling Gas. That means they can't use their hive or anything. And then a Kaito. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So they draw a discard. We get a Dust Mangler. All right, so can we just Runo, Tainted Indulgence, kill them? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? Yeah, we can just do that. Let's just do that. Let's just Runo. Oh my god, Bounce finally did a thing. Bounce the gas. I'll even put a Runo Stromkirk on top of my library. That's to make sure that if we don't make it through this somehow, that we have something that we can play next turn, which will also bounce something. Ooh, we can't do it! We can't do it! We can't do it! We can't do it! Because this has Ward. That changes everything. So I actually am kind of glad that I kept that on top, that Runo, because now we will be able to play something that bounces a thing. But no, we really won't, because well, we're tainted indulgence thing. What do we get from that? If we'd have had... Uh, damn it. They still die, though, right? They still die. Five, six... They take eight if we swing away. But then again, all they have to do is have removal. They just have a two-mana removal spell. They kill the Runo, you know? All right, they have to block. This is correct. This is this is the correct way to attack here. Because they block the breaker and they take eight, 
and we just die. <laughs> you know, they, they, play, they play removal spell and we die. Is there a reason to play this other Runo and bounce something? No. So let's take a all right, skin of our teeth, guys. Skin of our teeth. See if we can do it. We're at seven. They tap two, three, four mana. Dust Mangler, Resolve Dust Mangler kills them next turn. At this life total. If they kill all three of our guys, they go up. They invoke despair. Freaking invoke despair. All right. Yeah, sure. They draw. They have three mana left. We lose a total of, what, three life there? They go to three from two. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Meat hooks bouncing off of each other. Three life left. They can play the ghast. And then we just bounce it. Yeah, they're trying to make so many things we can't bounce. All right, Soren will make a 2-3 flyer. Yeah. We draw land. <laughs> That's cute. All right, so Mangler just kills them. Just kill, it just does four damage and kills them. Let's discard a card. Runo. Bounce. The vampire. Sure. Why not? And then we did it. Oh, we did it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness. It took forever. <laughs> but when we actually won another game, it was against like a bunch of planeswalkers and stuff. Because of course, right? We had to play against a real deck to win. <laughs> they resolved invoke twice that game. Yeah, they resolved invoke twice that game. Resolved Loth. Uh, Soren, Kaito, and Imrith, and we still somehow pulled it off, but the rest of the night has been a series of beatings.